Steven Yeun is an actor who became best known as Glenn from The Walking Dead, and he's clearly moving on up in Hollywood. Not only was he a 2021 Oscar nominee, he's also invested in some pretty luxurious real estate to call home. This includes a home in Los Feliz, and he recently upgraded to a mid-century home in Pasadena. Steven's first home spanned 1,870 square feet with three bedrooms and three bathrooms, and his more impressive home in Los Feliz featured 3,338 square feet and four bedrooms. He bought this one back in 2017 for $2.3 million. With Steven making bang from Walking Dead, it should come as no surprise that he recently upgraded to his mid-century home in the affluent neighborhood of Pasadena. This place features 3,621 square feet and luxury amenities like an outdoor entertainment space with tropical gardens. Today we'll take a look at the places Steven calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Steven, you has already found success in the entertainment industry, garnering a net worth of $4 million and becoming the first Asian American actor to be nominated at the Screen Actors Guild for outstanding performance by a male actor in a leading role. Steven rose to prominence for his role as Glenn Rhee in the television series The Walking Dead, which is where I best know him from. With his 2018 performance in Burning, Steven went on to earn himself a National Society of Film Critics Award for Best Supporting Actor. In addition, he has been nominated for two Saturn Awards. He topped this off by starring in Minari in 2020, which earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actor, becoming the first Asian American actor to achieve this. In addition to his paychecks from lighting up Hollywood, Steven is an investor in The Bun Shop, a Korean Mediterranean fusion restaurant in Koreatown, Los Angeles. So when you're making the type of bread that Steven is, literally and figuratively, you're bound to buy some multi-million dollar real estate. As Steven's career grew, so did his homes, and in a matter of five years, he went from unloading a property for less than a million dollars to his most recent $3.3 million purchase. Hey guys, it's Kara and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video every day. Today we're going to check out a few homes of actor Steven Yun, including his former home in Los Feliz and his current upgrade in Pasadena. If you like this video, we've done plenty of celebrity house tours on this channel, including some other 2021 Oscar nominees like Viola Davis and Anthony Hopkins, which we'll link to at the end. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Back in 2012, Steven had purchased a bright, sunny townhouse in the heart of Hollywood that featured three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Steven came out on top in the process when he unloaded it too, as he had sold the 1,870 square foot home for 895K, which was $185,000 more than he paid for it. But make no mistake, for under a million dollars, this home was quite spectacular. The home featured an open floor plan decorated with beach white walls and trendy decor, giving a contemporary California feel. The living room, both Hosted unique visuals including Turkish textiles, floor pillows, hanging wall bowls, a velvet couch, mid-century cocktail table, and palm plants housed in baskets. The living space then transitioned into a dining room that had finished brass light fixtures, designer chairs, and plenty of sleek cabinets. The nearby kitchen was minimalistic and modern, but still came complete with tiled flooring, dark wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and a cozy breakfast nook, perfect for having guests over for brunch. Moving on upstairs, the second story featured two bedrooms, one of which was the master suite that boasted a sitting area, private balcony access, and walk-in closet, big enough to hold more than the basics. In addition, Steven could humbly brag about all of his award show season attire in this spacious walk-in. Outside, the home had features like a charming outdoor patio hedged in by greenery and nicely touched with an adorable picnic table, which is a rare commodity in the busy heart of Hollywood. Back in 2016, Steven decided to purchase an updated mid-1970s contemporary home for $2.3 million. The two-story contemporary featured 3,338 square feet and boasted four bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms. The lavish home featured posts and beams throughout and came complete with a geometrically inspired exterior and and warmly appointed interiors. Upon entering, the front door opens right into an airy living room that featured a vaulted, exposed wood ceiling. His Los Feliz home was decked out in gorgeous windows that filled the room with tons of
of natural light. On one end of the living space, a cozy fireplace stood between exposed wood panels and a sleek dining area with a wet bar open to the high-end kitchen and family room. This kitchen featured stainless appliances as you might have guessed, marble countertops and a beautiful island with space to meal prep or sit down and have a casual meal. Meanwhile, the family room was decorated with an elegant chandelier, custom fittings and fixtures, and an additional fireplace. Stevens Los Feliz house featured a number of roomy bedrooms including guest rooms and the master suite which was complete with a sitting area that opens to the backyard. In addition, his former master suite featured a custom fitted walk-in closet with more space than you know what to do with and a bathroom made entirely of smooth concrete with glass and shower and traditional Japanese wood soaking tub. Equally impressive has got to be the exterior of the home as it features a concrete patio decked out with lavish furnishings. Backyard also features a patch of grass outside the lower level bedrooms that overlooks a gravel paved lower terrace. His yard was nicely touched with an outdoor barbecue area, a fire pit and sitting area perfect for entertaining. While the home itself didn't feature a pool, listing descriptions claim there's plenty of room for one but Steven never got around to installing that. He let go of his Los Feliz home just last year for $2.5 million, coming out on top yet again with some bonus money on the sale. So when you're the star of a critically acclaimed television series, you're bound to get rich and start spreading your real estate seed. Steven's mid-century architectural home in the hilly neighborhood of affluent Pasadena is definitely the showstopper of this house tour. Behind a high wall secured iron and copper gates and rooftop lined with palm trees, there's a 3,621 square foot home that boasts three bedrooms and three bathrooms. The home was recently purchased by Steven for $3.3 million and offers numerous living and entertaining spaces that flow freely out to tropical gardens. Gardens. Guests lucky enough to visit are greeted to a massive white oak front door that leads to a plentiful and drawn out foyer. To the right, the elegant guest bedrooms make for a calming environment thanks to the view of the tropical garden. One thing that's unique about this home is the main living areas where the transition of space from outside to inside virtually disappears in the open architecture and large retractable walls. Steven's dining room features wide plank hardwood floors, a stone fireplace, and full height glass sliders that open up to a serene courtyard garden. The chef's kitchen features a ton of natural light through three skylights over the massive white oak island. Not to mention, the kitchen comes complete with gorgeous stone countertops, high-end stainless steel appliances, sleek white cabinets, and of course, a view of the garden. In addition, the space features stunning light fixtures, a cozy breakfast nook, and a butler's pantry just for some extra room to entertain or organize your kitchen necessities. Steven's modern estate also has a vast family room with polished concrete floors and colossal light wood beams across the ceiling. Here there's also nicely curved bench seating that's touched with plush furniture and of course a classy fireplace. Steven's ample master suite has yet another fireplace and also comes with private balcony access that extends to a sitting area and walk-in closet with skylights. His walk-in closet is easily big enough to pose as an additional room in the house and is steps away from the ensuite bathroom that features dual sinks, a large soaking tub, and it boasts spectacular views and a large standing shower. Just when you thought that was all Steven's current home had to offer, you realize we haven't even looked at the outside yet. Through wood trimmed French doors, the backyard features a private retreat that offers a swimming pool and spa, outdoor shower, and vine draped porch carved stone fountain against an awe inspiring tiled mural. The backyard also has more amenities, including an outdoor bar, barbecue area, fire pit, jacuzzi, and furniture to lounge around on. So this estate has a pool which is Los Feliz home was missing, but it's definitely one of the major upgrades in my opinion. Whether you're enjoying the multiple outdoor spaces, the sights of gorgeous tropical plants and exotic trees, or even the California mountain views, Steven has truly found a luxurious home. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right there. After looking at the three homes, both past and present of Oscar nominated actor Steven Yun, what did you guys think? I for one love the resort style backyard at his current Pasadena home. And personally, I'm a huge fan of Steven's current house, mainly because he upgraded to a place with a pool, but the retractable glass walls and gardens are also hard to be features. Be sure to let me know which of Steven's homes was your fave in the comments down below. If you haven't yet, go subscribe to my personal channel because I'd love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video, leave me a comment there, and we can chat. Luca Magnata had an obsession with the movie Basic Instincts, and there were actually similarities with his murder. In 2003, he began and his sporadic porn career. I think he, Luca was being cannibalistic 
Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.